What's going on friends? Logan Myers here for Cinefellas.com and tonight we're talking about Taylor Sheridan's newest film, Wind River. Um, if you're familiar with Taylor Sheridan, uh, his other films, Sicario and Hell or High Water, excellent, excellent films. Um, you know, he's a really great uh, director, writer, and actor. I actually just found it recently. He was the guy that played the cop in Sons of Anarchy, so I did not know that. So kudos to you, Mr. Sheridan. So Wind River, uh, we have Jeremy Renner. He plays a hunter. Uh, basically, he goes around this Indian reservation up in the mountains of Wyoming, and he kills animals you know, that happen to be eating the locals' livestock and things like that, like bobcats and things like that. So he's walking around with a gun, and he comes across the body of a young dead girl, and he actually knows who this girl is. And, you know, he's trying to figure out why she was out in the middle of nowhere up in the mountains. You know, she was bleeding, didn't have shoes on. So where the hell did she come from and what happened that night that, <clears throat> that caused the death of this girl? Um, you know, Jeremy Renner's very smart in this film. He can figure things out and he's like a kind of a cop. Like he's trying to, you know, figure out the clues and, and pick up on the tracks. So Jeremy Renner's really, you know, interested and in, he wants to figure this out. Who killed this young girl? Um, and then we get introduced to Elizabeth Olsen. She comes in as an FBI agent. They kind of ship her out from Las Vegas and she doesn't have warm clothing to be in Wyoming. So they have to get her some warm coats and clothes and things like that. So she doesn't freeze to death while investigating this, this homicide. And that really starts the relationship between El Elizabeth Olsen's character and Jeremy Renner. You know, she's there to figure out what happened and he's doing the same. So they kind of work together. And this movie was really, really depressing and cold. You know, it was filmed up in the mountains of Wyoming. It's covered in snow. You can see how, uh, you know, cold the actors were in this film. So with an atmosphere like this, that it really captures the overall tone of the film, which is, you know, like a true crime story as to figuring out the, the cause of this girl's death, you know, opening up other characters. So like I said, uh, meet Gil Burningham, which plays the daughter's father. He's a Native American, and it, as you can imagine, is not taking it too lightly and too well after his daughter is found dead. And, you know, he talks to Jeremy Renner, which is, you know, they're good friends. They've known each other for years. He wants, you know, Renner to do whatever it takes to find the murderer and kill him. And it was really cool to see Gil Burningham back in a Taylor Sheridan flick. Uh, he was in Hell or High Water, just a really great standout performance. But this movie... You know, he's in a darker place, um, you know, with the death of his daughter and trying to cope with that and, and you know, just really angry at the world and, and, you know, wanting to do whatever it takes to find the murderer. You know, I've, I've been a big fan of Gil Burningham's, you know, obviously he was the guy in Twilight and a bunch of other films, uh, but we had a funny story. We were down in Austin, Texas at Hotel Van Zant, and he was actually staying there at the hotel. I mean, my wife were outside and he comes out for a smoke. I'm like, holy shit, Gil Burningham. But anyways, I had to get that off my chest. Uh, you know, throughout the rest of the film, the second and third act is if this is going to be considered a homicide, um, you know, she was found out in the middle of nowhere. She was running away from something, so they can't really say that it was a homicide. She just froze to death, which is true because it gets so cold there at night that you basically... Um, the cold fills your lungs and you just you die right there. <laughs> and coming up to the third act of the film is actually you know, seeing and figuring out what happened that night, uh, introduces John Bernthal's character. Um, he was an older guy that was dating the girl that was murdered. And something really disturbing happened to him and her that night um, with some other characters that are working with John Bernthal. Um, I mean, it's just very, very disturbing. It's the most disturbing scene of the film, and it just makes you cringe to see what happened and why that young girl took off. You know, Taylor Sheridan has a really great way of writing a script, of telling these stories, you know. It, it, most of the times, his films are kind of darker and depressing um, when you see these characters or what they're going through. Um, and in this instance, Jeremy Renner, you know, he's his past and his family, what happened to that, you know, is really really dark um, and you see what he's going through throughout the film while he's trying to track down the, the murderer um, and work with Elizabeth Olsen. You can see what he's going through and he's at a tough spot in his life and he just wants to make things better and move on with his life and, and be happy again. You know, and, and just with the other characters in the film and seeing how this story unfolds, you know, at the very end, the way that this film actually does end is, is excellent. It really hits you hard and you don't really see that coming. and. 
what happens to everybody. You know, another excellent job by Taylor Sheridan, another outstanding film that is, you know, I, in my opinion, Wind River is probably one of the best films of this year. And, you know, it's Oscar worthy, in my opinion. And I highly recommend it. Um, if you guys didn't see it in theaters, definitely go pick it up on Blu-ray. It's, it's definitely a film you have to put in your collection. You know, the actors across the board, Jeremy Renner, Elizabeth Olsen, Gil Burningham, the list goes on, all top-notch performances. Um, you know, Renner, Jeremy Renner's character being the best and one of his best performances to date. Overall, with everything I just said, I love this movie. It's one of the best films of the year. And if you haven't seen it, you definitely have to go check it out. I'm going to give Taylor Sheridan's Wind River a four out of five hell pieces. <laughs> this is Logan Myers signing out from the cold and desolate mountains of Wyoming. Ooh, ooh, I need to get some coffee. Until next time, cheers!